And what's up guys, we back, we back again with another review. Listen, if it's your first time here, please go ahead, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you can be notified every time your boy drops a new video because I'm very inconsistent, even though I think I'm getting a little bit more consistent week by week, day by day. So, before we get into this shoe, yes, I'm going to give you my little disclaimer. These are UA shoes, and no, I do not condone the selling or reselling of UA shoes, and if you purchase some, you're doing so at your own risk. With that being said, you know what these are. Yes, these are the Union Jordan 4s. Now, which colorway is it? Let's find out. It is the Air Jordan 4 Retro SP in a guava ice Fusion Red in the size 10.5. So we got ourselves the Guava Jordan 4 Union. Just wanna go ahead and say thank you to Flip Shoes for gifting me this pair to do a review on. This review is for educational purposes only. So let's go ahead and take a look at the box. At the box, looks good, looks nice and sturdy. You see the bottom here. And I'm showing you the box even though your boy doesn't really care about boxes because when I get shoes like this, I'm putting them straight to foot. They're not for resale, they're not for anything. So no one outside of my house is ever gonna see this box and it should be the same way for anybody that ends up with a pair of these in their own house. So let's flip the lid off. There we go, there we go. Nothing going on under there. Oh, and we got ourselves a free pair of socks. So thank you again, Flip Shoes, for uh, gifting your boy also a pair of socks. Now I have not ever had a pair of Jordan 4 Unions in hand. So uh, I cannot tell you how these compare to a retail pair, but I can show you every little detail about these shoes and you can do your own research and your own comparison. And as I always say, if you notice something that I don't mention, hey, put it down in the comments. You know, each one, teach one, we educate each other over here on BC Reviews. Let's flip these things open and check out these bad boys. And ho! The Jordan 4. Guava, yeah, buddy, okay. These look good, these look good. Let's go ahead and pull them out and then check out the contents of the box. I ain't worried about that type of stuff and neither should you. And that's the box. Okay, on the left shoe, it does come with a hang tag. Looks good to me. The wing piece right there that should have been cut out in my opinion. We got this aged looking yellow netting here and the material itself is like this nappy suede. It is showing up a little gray and it actually looks dirty only on camera because in hand, this is actually like a light pinkish color and it's not dirty at all. It's just the way that this material moves. It just kind of makes it look like it's dirty in camera. Don't know why, but Believe me, I wouldn't lie to you guys. Toe box, got that material on the front. Looks good. I'm looking at the quality of the of the, the stitching. I mean, I'm not seeing anything. Guys, are you seeing anything wrong with this shoe? It's crazy that there's like no issues with the, with the quality. I don't see any glue marks. The paint looks straight. Um, the air bubble is clear. I don't know if it's supposed to be, but it's clear. It also has like a little bit of orange on the inside there. I mean, the shoe looks looks good. Let's look at the sole. Sole looks good. Damn, I mean, it's a good quality shoe. I don't know how much this matches up to retail, but as a shoe, the shoe is really good quality. That's all I can ask for right now. Let's take out this tongue. When I first seen this shoe, I thought it was a joke. and. Since this shoe has gotten a lot of hype and it's come out and everybody wants it now, has my energy changed? No, I'm sorry, I, it's not my cup of tea. It isn't, but it is probably yours and that's okay. I have a shoe now, yeah, I will probably rock it. But current resale price for this shoe is $800. No, I would never pay $800 plus for this shoe. What gets me is really just the, uh, the sole here. I don't really like the sole and the color itself too. I think I probably wear the black Nior or whatever it's called. I wear the black color before I wear this one. And then this one was the more exclusive one that only dropped in Union. Yet, I still like the other one better. But that's just my opinion about the shoe, about the design of the shoe. Now let's just get back to talking about this specific shoe and the quality. It's really good, I'm not gonna lie. Let's look at the tongue. All 
All right, and this is the controversial tongue that everyone could, didn't realize that you can cut the stitching on and then pull it up and it'll be like a regular tall Jordan 4 tongue. I'm gonna do that on another video. I'm definitely gonna cut that open because I think it's better with the tongue up. Not good enough though to make me change my opinion about the shoe though, I'm sorry. I, I, you can't make me like a shoe, the hype doesn't do it for me. And once I don't like something, it's really hard to get me to change my opinion. First impressions are lasting impressions with your boy. The shoe itself, pretty darn good in quality. Let's just go ahead and pull out this. And look, at, look under there, like that, and yeah, it's a good looking shoe. Nothing feels flimsy, it feels actually really heavy and sturdy, just like Jordan 4. Jordan 4 is a bulky anyway. Let's take a look at the right shoe. Even though it's not really showing up in camera, uh, in real life these are like a light pinkish color. It, it did come with another set of laces, these yellow laces. Uh, which ones would I rock if I was doing it? I don't know, I'd probably go with the yellow laces. Don't see any issues with the quality neither no glue marks no messed up paint they look dope quality wise <laughs> style wise that's another story maybe i'll throw these on foot and i'll change my mind completely but uh right now it's just still a no but the shoe itself <laughs> the shoe itself is pretty good again thank you to flip shoes for gifting me this pair uh, i'll just throw them on foot just so you guys can get an idea and then we'll come right back let's do that Rock. full disclosure completely honest guys I just did the on foot and I changed my mind they actually look good on foot having them in hand didn't do it I still didn't like them when I had them in hand but when I put them on I think I can definitely rock these I, I see I can see the vision I mean I'm still not a hundred percent you know certain about this this midsole and sole being yellow like this but the down view when I look down you know that view when you look down like that I was pleased with it. I like these. I, I'm going to rock them. And uh, yeah, I have to get rid of the, the footage I already shot. <laughs> and I have to give you guys the 100% honest truth how I feel about these shoes after having them on foot. Some people said, when you get these in hand, you're going to like them. No, I didn't like them even when I had them in hand. It took for me to put them on foot with a pair of just regular old blue jeans. And they work. They work. They're not hard to, to pull off. They're not hard to rock as, as much as I thought they would be. And thanks again for Flip Shoes for gifting me this pair to do a review on and for also uh, basically changing my mind on how I felt about the uh, the Union Jordan 4. Now, I'd probably like to get my hands on the black pair, hint, hint, see if I change my mind on those as well, even though I did like those a little bit more than I like these. So I'd be curious to see if I still feel that way if I ever get those in hand. So go ahead and put it down in the comments, guys. How do you feel about these? Were you always uh, a hater of these? Were you always a lover of them? Did you change your mind as the hype build? Or did you get a pair and actually, you know, do like I did and kind of say, okay, well, look, these, these aren't bad. Like, let me know in the comments how you feel. Beastly Army, let me know. Let me know how y'all feel on these bad boys. That's about it, guys. Like, comment, subscribe, and... I'm out of this. John, later.